Okay, so we're going to learn a simple logical method to solve this cube. First, we solve the white bottom. Then we get all the yellow corners facing up on the top. We place the yellow center on top, solving the top layer. After that, all we need to do is fix the middle centers to solve the entire skew. Now this puzzle is not very intuitive, and it can be a little confusing until you wrap your head around it. I had to take one apart first to get an idea of how it works. So I recommend you watch this tutorial all the way through. And while watching, practice this sequence. Down, down, up, up. Then repeat that over and over again. This is the only sequence or algorithm that we will use to solve this puzzle. This puzzle is hard to handle and turn if you're not familiar with it. So to avoid frustration, practice the muscle memory while watching the video and learning the method. Because what will end up happening is this. Once you wrap your head around the way the cube rotates, it's pretty easy to solve the bottom layer. We just want to match these white pieces down, touching the white centers, but we have to make sure that the side colors match. So for example, these don't match, so that's not the correct one. But these two do match. These greens match, so we're looking for any other colors. Those reds match, and here's the last one. It's in the bottom, but it's oriented wrong. So the way we're gonna fix that is we just rotate it, then rotate it again, insert it, and then just remember to fix this back. Again, that'll take you a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. So now this uh, bottom layer is solved. So all of these have to match. Now notice they don't necessarily have to match the centers because these centers are not stationary like a uh, Rubik's three x three. They'll swap around. We'll get more to that later. All right, so what we're looking for is the equivalent of no fish on a two x two or a three x three. Three, which was two yellows facing to the left and then a yellow fish, an eye on the front and the back. So now what we're gonna do is hold it like this and do our sequence, which will bring all the yellows up to the top. I'll explain later how, but right now, just understand the result. Down, down, up, up. It flipped all the yellows up. Now, if we don't have no fish, we're gonna have two diagonal yellows facing up and two diagonal yellows not facing up. So we'll have to do the sequence twice. Once to get no fish. And then once again to get all the yellows up. So now that I've got all the yellows on top, I want to get this uh, yellow center on top to solve the top layer. Okay, now to get the yellow center on top to solve the top layer, we're going to use that same sequence, but now we're going to learn a little more about it. So notice when I do the sequence here with all the yellow solved, it creates the no fish pattern, but facing the other way, and it also swapped these. So let's see that again. Watch the green and blue trade, and watch the red and orange trade. Blue, green, trade it, red, orange, trade it, and it made chameleon the other way. Now when I do it again, these will swap again, and all the yellows will be up top. So now with all my yellows facing up, if I do that sequence, I can see that it makes no fish. Now if I rotate the cube around and do it again, it's going to get all my yellows up and swap centers. At this point, you probably realize I intentionally put yellow on the back to prime it to be raised into the top. So that's how I solve my yellow center with the top. So let's see that again with my yellow corners all facing up and yellow on the back. I do that sequence down, down, up, up, which sets up no fish and primes this one to be moved to the top. Down, down, up, up. So the bottom layer solved, the top layer solved. Now armed with that information, it should be pretty easy to figure out how to solve the rest of the cube. So once we have the yellow on top and the yellow uh, layer solved, what we do is we look at the sides and we're looking for one that's solved. So we found a solved one. We want to make that the bottom, putting the yellow and the white on the sides. And now, if we look here, we can use that same trick. Does red need to go down here? No, it does not. So we turn it this way. Does red need to go down here? It does. So we do that sequence. We pulled the red down and it matches. And whether you realize it or not, we made we made no fish with blues, but you don't have to really see that. We're gonna spin it around. Here's our no fish with blues. And now when we do the sequence, we're gonna move all the corners correct, pull this center down to match this. Bam, and we solve the whole cube. Okay, so what if you don't have a solved side? 
Now if our yellow solved and our white solved and we don't have any other pieces solved, that's okay. We just pick any color to be the bottom, it doesn't matter. We do our sequence, we rotate it, we do it again, which will solve the side. We now make that the bottom and we see, does red need to come here? No. Does red need to come here? Yes. So we do it, red's correct, flip it. Now we're gonna fix these. 